Hi my little friends, so once again you are back with your Maths Buddy Mini at your own learning platform Learn Forward and I am here with your Maths book, Maths Concepts and Skills for Grade 2 by Feather Cap. What ahead now? We have learnt lots of topics in Maths. Were they really interesting for you? Did you enjoy them? So let's have one more topic today and we are going to start chapter 13 of your book Data Handling. What is data handling children? We have learned in grade 1 also about data handling. You have some information and you make it more presentable and you can interpret results out of that. So, let's have a gear up exercise for you first. Ashish has marbles of different colors. He has arranged them in groups according to color. So, can you see he is having fun with different colors marbles. How many green marbles are there? quickly count them and write the number then you have to count the red marbles also and the blue ones also and write the number here I am sure you will be doing that perfectly yes that's good now going ahead counting and writing data so counting and writing information in a meaningful manner is called data handling let's try some counting and writing of data like Alia, Mehek and Harry visited the zoo during the holidays and they saw various animals shown in the picture below. So, which animals do you see here? They saw lions, they saw elephants, monkeys, tigers, right? So, they have just put them in the picture form. You have to name all the animals seen above. Just mention their names, write down. Then count the total number of animals. How many total are these? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, how many more lions are there than tigers? So, let's count how many lions are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and tigers are only 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. So, 2 more lions compared to tigers and name the animals which are the same in number. So, these are 6, these are 4 and monkeys are also 4. So, which animals are same in number? Yes, the tigers and the monkeys. Right? So, you have an exercise here. We see a lot of things around us, both living and non-living. So, let us observe them and identify them also. You see apple, tree, the vehicles, ball, animals here. So, what is the total number of living things out of this? Remember, plants are living things. So, we have two living things here. Now, total number of non-living things here? Okay. We have to consider this whole picture here, children. So, number of living things are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 6 here. We have to take this whole collection. And how many are non-living? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 are non-living things. Now, observe and circle which one is more in number. Is it living or non-living? Living things are more in number here in this picture. Then do you think non-living things are also important? Yes, definitely they are important. We need them for different purposes. Which is your favorite non-living thing? You can write your own non-living thing here. You mean to say your toys? I say my vehicle? Okay. So you will have different answers. Write them down according to your favorite living thing. Think and tell whether air is a living or a non-living thing. Uh, air is a non-living thing, but it helps us to live. We cannot survive without air, children. There are some qualities of the, some features, some characteristics of living things that you will be learning when you grow ahead. So, we say that air is non-living. It helps in living, it helps in life, but it is not living. Now, group activity given here is a list of students and their hobbies. So, hobbies are dancing, swimming, singing and here are the names of students who like them. Count and write the number of students who like dancing. So, how many are these? Just three. For swimming, how many are these? Perfect. They are five. This is three. And then for singing, there is only one. The teacher wants to arrange the class into two groups for dancing and swimming competition. Who will not be able to take part in the competition? The ones whose hobby is singing because she is looking only for dancing and swimming competition. Do you think he, she should be given a chance to show his her talent? Yes, definitely. Might be she, she has taken singing 
as a, a hobby in school but then she is too good at dancing or she swims very well so she should definitely be given a chance and she should not be left alone now representing data data can be represented in different forms let's see sumi helped her sister to prepare attendance for the 50 students present in summer camp let us look at the data given below so on monday 7 on tuesday 12 wednesday 10 thursday 9 friday 8 these were the number of students present in the summer camp so you have to find out what is the total number let's see how you can do faster 10 plus 10 is 20 another 8 plus 2 10 is 30 30 plus 9 is 39 39 plus 7 is 46 so these are 46 in all let us represent this data by coloring the boxes so you have got many boxes here to show how many children were there on monday we will count just seven boxes and color them see one two three four five six seven have been colored similarly for tuesday 12 boxes have been colored for wednesday just 10 for thursday 9 and for friday just eight boxes have been colored so this makes representing your data more attractive now total number of students present in week were 46 total number of students absent in a week how many total children were there 50 out of which just 46 were present so that means 50 minus 46 is 4 were absent which day had the greatest number of students present so where do you see the maximum colored boxes this so tuesday perfect which day had the greatest number of students absent so where the presence was minimum here maximum students were absent so on monday maximum students were absent which is your favorite activity on a summer camp so you do lots of activities there write down your favorite activity in this blank here's an exercise for you trees are important natural resource fabian manjeet raghav and azar planted some trees for five days with the help of their teachers they made a list of green planted trees planted by them on a daily basis study the list and then answer the question so here is the list of trees planted by them on day one they planted 10 on day two seven three three on the third day on day four they planted nine on day five they planted 11 trees so how many trees did they plant in all you will quickly add them 10 20 30 and 40 see how fast we get at adding numbers if we make groups of 10 10 10 quickly how many more trees did they plant on day 2 then on day 3? So it is 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4. On which day did they plant the maximum number? Where is the number biggest? It is on day 5. How many less trees were planted on day 4 than on day 5? So 11 minus 9 is 2. That's it. So let's think now. Go on a nature walk and collect different types of leaves and observe and sort the leaves based on their different shapes. Count the leaves and make a table to represent this data. Also create your own masterpiece of art using these leaves collected. So you can just collect different leaves, sort them out according to their shape, make a chart to show how many uh, leaves are there of each type and then create your own masterpiece. Be creative children. Now. Time to have the summary of the chapter. Data handling means organizing the data in an appropriate manner. While counting and writing data, we must ensure that the data is relevant. Creating a list helps in organizing things and then data can be represented in the form of charts, maps or even tables. So, for my little champions, the given pictograph shows the number of flowers picked by four girls study the graph and answer the given question so these are the four girls who have picked up these flowers nupur and anusha, anusha picked dash flowers all together so this is for nupur this is for anusha how many are these 11 and 9 that is 20 <coughs> nupur and anusha picked dash flowers all together this is 20 divya picked dash flowers fewer flowers than kirti so this is divya this is kirti how many less flowers do you see here just two a miscellaneous exercise tick the correct option look at the table below and answer the questions here are the months of the year given the number of months which starts with j 
how many are they january then you have june then you have july so it is 3 the number of months which start with a vowel sound so you have april august october again you have three months that start with a vowel sound do you remember what are vowels a e i o u 5 so i think i'm done with all of these letters the number of months which end with b e r so january february march april may june july august september october november december so how many are these four months children yes number of months with 30 days do you remember seven months have 31 days four months have 30 days and there is just one month february which has either 28 or 29 days the number of months which have 31 days i just mentioned perfect answer seven months have 31 days now subjective type questions for you alia is making a list of birthday party things help her complete the list by answering the following questions so how many caps does alia need to buy if she has invited six friends to the birthday party six for the friends and one for herself so there are seven children how many donuts will be required if each kid is to be given one do you think she'll not eat she will also so again seven donuts because each one will get one how many slices of pizza will be required if each child is to get two slices so there will be seven children two slices each so two times seven is 14 slices look at the data given below and answer the full answer the questions so you have different dresses here count and write the number of clothes we we are in summer and winter so we we are in winter this also in winter this also in winter this also in winter we have four for winter and one two three four four for summer which season have more clothes same you have same for both now next which is your favorite season and why some are saying summer some are saying winter so you have to write your own favorite season here and tell the reason also create your own to-do list for a week and analyze it so you just have to find which dresses do you wear and you have to analyze which is your favorite season now coming to next is hot stanya read seven story books manner read five kavya read eight in 20 days who has best speed in reading a story book so in just 20 days they read so many story books who reads best <coughs> kavya kavya read one story book more than tanya do you think tanya has the capability to gain speed in reading yes definitely if she can read seven she just makes it a habit she'll be growing faster in reading and she can do it can tanya and kavya be equally good in reading speed yes definitely children with practice everything is possible so keep practicing and keep growing so next is a maths lab activity for you to perform with your teacher in your maths lab go with your friends have lots of fun there and have a good learning time we'll be coming up with more interesting sessions ahead with you till then happy learning children